Hey guys, how's it going? So we've done a lot of different sweet dishes in the last few episodes, so I decided we're gonna do something savory, because in all reality, the dinner that we had the last few nights was like rice and lettuce and mustard, and like some meat. It wasn't that exciting, but we were just trying to use what we had. So we're gonna do some Dan Dan noodles tonight, or a variation of them, they're not gonna be exact. I don't have cucumbers to pickle to put on top, and I don't have hoisin sauce or Chinese black vinegar, but we're gonna use some swaps in the kitchen, because um, I doubt you probably have those ingredients too. They're not things I normally have. So basically it's a, um, a stir fry dish. It's usually like a lo mein noodle. I'm using udon noodles because I found some instant udon noodle packets. Not ideal, but we're using what we have in the pantry. Um, and then a ground pork with like some Szechuan peppercorns, which we have from the lettuce wrap episode. And it's gonna be a similar mixture that we did with the, the uh, ground chicken. So it's got soy sauce, garlic, ginger, and the Szechuan peppercorns. Um, normally there is hoisin sauce in it, but we're, we just don't have that. That's okay. Um, and then it gets a nice chili oil, which we'll make from scratch. And we're actually gonna utilize that Mike's Hot Honey. So, you know, why not? We have it, it's already spicy. Um, and then we're gonna make the noodles. So it has a tahini base sauce, which we have left over from our hummus. So we're utilizing a lot of things. It looks like a lot of ingredients when I show you, but it's not too bad. It's, it's pretty easy to make. So um, let's go ahead. All right, so it kind of looks like I have my entire pantry in here, but that's okay. Um, so here's our ground pork that I talked about. Probably should not have that next to perishable items, so it's separated. These are these are like instant udon noodles, not like what I would recommend to use, but it's what I have. Um, you could also use lo mein. Um, the frozen udon noodles, I, I feel like, are tend to be the best, um, but these will do. So I don't have Chinese five spice, but we're going to kind of make our own. I just don't have any cloves but it normally is cinnamon, ground fennel, um, star anise, but I only have um, anise seed, which is fine. Um, cloves and then Szechuan peppercorns. So we're gonna make our own, why not? Um, that's just gonna be for the chili oil anyway. Um, some sesame seeds, I don't have Chinese, the black vinegar, Chinese black vinegar, so we're gonna use rice vinegar. So it's not gonna be as like funky, that's okay. Um, some crushed red pepper flake, sesame seeds. We're normally it calls for regular honey, but I figured we're making a chili oil, so do hot honey. Um, some garlic sauce, tahini. I might put mirin in it, I'm not sure. Sesame oil. And then for our pro oh, that's gross, got oil over myself. <laughs> for our produce, garlic, ginger, scallions, um, a little bit of lime, and cilantro. So um, we're not going to do the pickle that normally goes on this, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I'll make sure to give you guys like all the different sub recipes. So we're going to start by putting on some water to boil for the udon, and uh, we're going to make the chili oil. So let's go for it. All right, so I have our water on to boil. I didn't add any salt to the water, not necessary for udon noodles. So we're gonna go ahead and make our chili oil. So we're gonna start out by adding um, half a cup of vegetable oil and about a tablespoon of the Szechuan peppercorns. All right, so we have our oil and our Szechuan peppercorns. So we're gonna let this heat up to about 300 degrees um, so it can put steep and then we're gonna take it off the, um, the flame or in this case, the electric stove. <laughs> and um, we're gonna add our sesame seeds. I already have that. Um, our, I'm going to make like a, a quick makeshift um, five spice, which is only going to really be three because I'm not going to add more Szechuan peppercorns. And then a little bit of crushed red pepper and some sesame. So I'm going to go ahead and make, um, like it's just going to do equal parts of all these spices. I don't know the normal ratio, but it is what it is. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to need a half teaspoon total, about a teaspoon of the crushed red pepper. And the sesame seeds, I'm just going to add enough to enough sesame seeds to coat it. So we have our three spice, kind of five spice. We already have the Szechuan peppercorn, so it's not necessary. So I have that all kind of, we'll just mix it up, but that's all set. So while the oil is heating up, we're gonna go ahead and cut our garlic and our ginger for our, um, for our pork. Couldn't think of the word. All right, so our oil is nice and hot. Took it off the uh, flame or electric. So we're gonna add a half teaspoon of this uh, mix, spice mix, um, some sesame seeds, and about a teaspoon of crushed red pepper. All right, so we have our chili oil. We're just gonna let this sit and continue to develop flavor. Um, so I'm, I didn't even start doing the garlic yet because it actually reached temperature faster than I anticipated. So I've got three cloves of garlic and then we're gonna do about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of uh, grated ginger. We're gonna use our trusty microplane as always. Um, so we'll just make sure we do that first. All 
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and make our pork. So I've got our garlic and ginger, Szechuan peppercorns, pork. I forgot to show you earlier, we need soy sauce, sesame oil, and a little bit of vinegar. So we're gonna get the pan um, nice and hot, add a touch of olive oil, start cooking the pork first, and then we'll, because these are already grated and the, the pork's gonna take longer to cook, we'll add these near the end with all of our um, sauces. All right, so we have our pork, cook or our pork cooking. So make sure you break it up into little pieces. I'm gonna strain some of this fat out. And then we're gonna go ahead and add our garlic and ginger, about half a tablespoon of Szechuan peppercorns, enough soy sauce to coat, probably a teaspoon of sesame oil, and about a tablespoon of rice vinegar. All right, so we have our garlic and ginger. All right, I added about a tablespoon of Szechuan peppercorns. All right, two tablespoons of soy sauce, teaspoon of sesame oil, and a tablespoon of vinegar. I'm just gonna mix this up, and then we're gonna set it aside, and then we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce for the noodles. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix up our sauce. We're just gonna mix it in a bowl, and once we cook the noodles, we're gonna add the hot noodles to the sauce. So we're gonna start out with a third of a cup of tahini. All right, so we have our third of a cup of tahini. Now we're gonna add three tablespoons of water. We'll do warm water. All right, we have our water. Now we're gonna take our chili oil and add about two to three tablespoons, depending on how spicy you like it, to this. All right, so we have our chili oil. I did three tablespoons because I like spicy. So we're gonna add two tablespoons of the chili garlic sauce, if you can see it. All right, we have um, two tablespoons of the chili garlic sauce or paste. I decided we're gonna end up using regular honey because this is gonna be too spicy. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of honey. All right, so we have our honey. Now I'm gonna add two tablespoons of our soy sauce. After the soy, we're gonna add a tablespoon of rice vinegar. All right, after the vinegar, we're gonna add a teaspoon of sesame oil and then a teaspoon of mirin. All right, so we have our sesame oil and mirin. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and then we're gonna cook off our udon noodles. Um, while our udon, well actually first what we'll do is we'll cut up some scallions and cilantro, then co uh, cook our udon noodles. Our sauce is all incorporated. We're gonna set this aside, cut the cilantro for garnish, scallions for garnish, and um, we're gonna use some lime at the end for a little bit of acidity. All right, so we have our cilantro, lime, the extra chili oil, scallions, uh, sesame seeds, and our sauce all set. We're just gonna really quick um, cook the udon noodles. I'm gonna set up the pork over here as well. Um, the udon noodles are gonna go directly in the sauce. They should only take about a minute. All right, we have our noodles in a nice square <laughs> repackaged uh, state. So we're just gonna let these cook until they're warmed through. I'm just reheating, uh, just heating up our pork because it's been sitting for a second. Um, so yeah, we're just about there. All right, so our noodles are nice and cooked. We're just gonna take these, and I'm trying not to burn myself, and just add them right to our sauce. We're gonna mix this up and go ahead and plate. All right, so our noodles are nice and mixed. We're gonna go ahead and evenly divide them between these two bowls. All right, so we have our noodles. I just added the extra sauce on top. Now we're gonna to top it with our pork. All right, so we have our pork. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our garnishes. So we have our cilantro. We'll add the lime last, our scallions, and a little bit extra chili oil. All right, so we have our um, scallions and cilantro. Now we're just gonna drizzle some chili oil and some fresh lime juice. All right, guys, what do you think? I think it looks awesome. Looks delicious. Can't wait to eat it. Deegan's making weird coughing noises in the background. Sorry about that. But yeah, I'm excited to eat this. Um, I'll let you guys know what I think. Well, I've had it before, so I'm just gonna close the vlog out now so I can change into comfortable pajamas. Hey guys, what'd you think of that recipe? I thought it was a really simple one to execute, especially if you have all those ingredients, if you've I mean, followed along and made a lot of these recipes, we have a lot of these things on hand. So they're not like normal ingredients, but if you made the lettuce wraps, if you made the hummus, you'll have these. So um, I'm really excited to try this. Um, I hope you guys liked a little break from the sweets and we did a savory dish. I'm excited because my sweet tooth is not that big. So uh, it's been hard having all these sweets. I don't really love them so much. They're okay. Um, but I really can crush some savory food. Um, so I'm really excited for this. Um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and have a good night. Thanks.